What's good guys? My name's Dean from Crosshatched HD here and uh, yeah today we're gonna play some more of this. Well no not some more I'm gonna start it really. Uh, there's not really anything else on the channel at the moment but we're hoping to change that very soon. I don't know why I have Albania or Albania. No it's Albania here. Uh, <laughs> Albania. Allied. Because we're not going to be playing as them. Nope, we're going to be playing as um, these guys here. Brandenburg! Yep, Brandenburg. So we're going to be Brandenburg, we're not going to be Sweden, we're not going to be Novgorod, we're not going to be anything like them. We're going to start off with uh, three provinces. Potsdam, uh, Rupen, I don't know if I pronounced that right. I, in fact, I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this right. But yeah, Brandenburg. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> um, I haven't really come up with a plan or anything like that. I usually just... I don't know, I try to just expand early on to get quite powerful, things like that. Um, this is going to be my per first, my first proper campaign. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to do this. There's so many options you can take though, I mean, I'm definitely going to go for Pomerania so that I can get some coastal provinces. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the Teutonic Order. I'm thinking about allying with Poland, but then that will annoy some other people. But um, we, there's loads of different options we can take, there's loads of different routes we can take. We start off with a royal marriage with Mantua, which I believe is down here somewhere. Mantua? Yep, yeah, Mantua. Oh, is that Mantua? I don't know how you pronounce that. Mantua and Ferrari, yeah, blah blah blah. So yeah, you get the gist. So, uh, let's start. Enough talking. It is time for war. And we initialize the game. I don't know why this starts off as like a rebel province. I never really fully understood that. But you know how it is. <coughs> so yeah, for you who, well, for those who don't know, EU4 is like a it's a grand strategy game. Well, no, it's, I know it's a strategy game. I'm not sure if it's grand strategy. I can't fucking talk today. <laughs> grand strategy, because it's like um, you know, you just command your own army, you have your nation. Right now we have 6,000 troops, I think, yep. We have 1,000 cavalry, 5,000 infantry. And, you know, you, you do your usual, all that stuff. Our economy is... It's okay, I suppose. We'll get more by, you know, lowering army maintenance and all that, but I don't want my army to be fighting with sticks and stones. So, yeah. Um... I'm thinking about progressing into... Wow, we're hostile with Pomerania anyway, so we could try to progress into Pomerania. Not now, obviously, but... Oh, what? I never even knew they were part of the Empire. Come on. Oh, yeah, um, if we look on this map mode, the Imperial map mode, this here is all... Well, I don't know what... This province... Yeah. All this part is like the Empire, the Holy Roman Empire, um, which I believe was like, I don't I don't quite know what it was actually, to be honest. It was just an empire that was holy and it was Romany. Um, so, I thought someone was trying to open my door then, how rude. Um, form an alliance with Anhalt, or however you pronounce that. Reclaim Newmark. Oh, Newmark. Ah, right, Teutonic Order. Um, they're also hostile. Who isn't hostile? We've got Poland, we've got Bohemia, who are... who have vassals in Silesia, which are here. Hungary, you know... Yeah, I think Pom... what about Mecklenburg? Oh, go away. Oh no, that was wrong. Yeah, they're hostile as well. Wow, we've got a lot of... Hostile. I think all of our... yep, hostile. Hostile. Wow, we are really hated. They're feeling threatened, yet they're, you know, a lot more bigger than us. Well, no, it doesn't look it, but... Oh, no, they're not. They feel threatened, but... Yeah, you know. What can you do? Not my fault. Shouldn't feel threatened, should you? I'm thinking... We should probably try to forge an alliance with either Poland or Bohemia. Go for Newmark off the Tectonic Order. Progress this way. And then maybe try go for Pomerania because then we'll have four provinces and we'd be able to um come in oh, gotta go for my team. <laughs> hey guys I'm back sorry about that um 
so yeah, let's get back to it. I think we were talking about getting the new mark from Planet Order. Well, that's, you know, that'll be the first plan of action that we do. I'm not going to quite go through that yet. Uh, you know, if you look here, you get your advisor slots, and advisors basically give you, like, your, um, you know, you get buffs from them, I suppose you call them, or something like that. Like, if you get this guy, it costs him, si you buy him out, which, you know, you get him, he's 16 gold. But then monthly for price, it's like one gold monthly. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, this guy here, five percent tax modifier, which is, you know it's good. This is a skill; it goes up to three, and the better the skill, the better like tax modifier. For example, like this guy's got two on his skill, and down here you got your minus ten for administrative administrative technology cost. Ooh, and um, if he had plus 3, it'd probably smell like minus 20, I think, minus 15, I don't know. Something good like that. Uh, here you got your economic tab, there you can get more money, or I suppose you could do this, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Depends what you want to do. Uh, this is your trade. Um, I think I've got, yeah, yeah, my both of my uh, merchants up here, because I've got none left. I've sent, well... The sent out to Lookburk and Frankfurt. Frankfurt! Sorry. Uh, this is your technology, which is very important. You've got to make sure that this is up to date all the time. Because if it's not, everyone's going to be ahead of you and you're going to get pulverized. Yep. Trust me. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, these are your ideas. We got Prussian ideas because, hey, we're, hopefully we're going to look to form Prussia at some point, right? And, um,. We have no national ideas yet, which is a bit of a shame, and we I haven't actually taken a look at these. I know there's one for um, professionalism somewhere. Uh, there. Plus one to the morale of armies, which is really good, I like that. Uh, infantry combat ability plus 25%, it's just awesome. And they're just general good fighters, which is why I'm hoping to get far in this campaign. I don't know how long I've been talking for, I haven't even clicked play yet. Um, just time, just, you know, give me a minute. <laughs> Career control is Savoy at the moment. Um, we are Catholic. Yeah, because why not? Uh, you know, yeah, Catholic, whatever. <laughs> uh, we are a feudal monarchy. Gives us this, you know, which is like, you know, more manpower and more income from vassals, which we currently, as long as I'm not wrong, we have none. No, where's me? Oh, we have a reconquest on Teutonic Empire anyway. Anyway, um, let's click play. I'm going to leave it as it is for now, but generally, usually when I get into the swifter things, I have it on the 3, like plus 3. You know what I mean? So, uh, straight away, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'd love to boost the stability at some point. I need 90 administrative power to do that, and boosting your stability is really important. As you can see here, it gives you like plus 1 global trade power, plus 5% national spy defense, revolt risk, but... It's just generally good all around, and if you get onto like the minuses, it can be a real problem because then you've got to handle rebels and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, it can it start being a real pain. Um, hmm. Right now, I really don't know what to do. Just chill for a bit. No, no, no. Let's try get Poland happy with us. Who were they already allied with them? Austria. And they'd be happy for an alliance. You know, I'm, I think I'll, I'll roll with Poland, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with Poland. Let's do that. We're rolling with Poland. We're, do, we're rolling. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. And I'd offer them a real marriage, but I need my, um... I need my diplomat back. It feels so weird having, like, hardly any diplomats. I'm used to having, like, five or maybe even six at a time. I think. I'm not sure. Um, I like it with the Peloton and Trier. What have we got here? Oh, they offered it us. Oh, yeah, thank you. Don't mind if I do. So we're an ally. We're allies, and we're like, well, yeah. I suppose you could say we're married to Poland. Yay! Hooray for marriage! Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, Teutonic Order are oof. Uh, they're allied with Hungary and Livonian Order. Livonian Order are right here. And Hungary are the big mother truckers that are right here. Well, they're not too big, but you know, when you compare it to a free province nation like mine, it yeah, it's 
pretty big. I with Mark the Bug. Where's Mark the Bug? Mark, ah, oh, Mark the Bug's there. So basically these two are allied. I could just crush them, but at the same time, I don't want to piss off anyone in the Holy Roman Empire because I can't take anyone's land without having to give it back without upsetting everyone. Which is just really stupid, really annoying, and it just... Oh, don't even get me started. Um, I don't know, I suppose it adds for balance in a way. This is the Piperse, Piperse, in which the Kiddo controller is Savoy, as I've already mentioned. So yeah, can't really spend any points to get anyone yet. That's just basically, you can get your um, priests, or a priest or something like that to be the Pope, I think. Something like that. Mains, these are the electors, Bohemia. Oh, we got someone voting! Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we vote for ourselves. Awesome. We're like, <laughs> we ain't voting for no one, we vote for ourselves, because we can do that. Troll face. Um, yeah, I don't really... Uh, you see, the problem is with this now, I'm not too sure as to where to go from here. Because if we attack these now, the Hungary and Livonian Order are going to get right in on it. And their independence is guaranteed by Lithuania. So I don't think the Teutonic Order is a good choice right now. On the other hand, Anhalt and Lundberg. It's Anhalt. Ah! Anhalt. An oh, look at you! You're so cute! And the hostile. Um, and Hala right next to us, and I didn't even realize that. And. Lundberg! You guys are. Oh, you guys. Oh, you're so cool! Look at how small you are. Okay. Oh, uh, we could strike Pomerania. Unfortunately, though, we don't have anything. And they, they are a part of the Empire in Austria, we'll protect them. What? How are you supposed to frickin' expand as these guys? What the hell? I should've probably played a bit of... You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna start fabricating some claims on their provinces and hopefully once that's done, we can just jump in there, take everything and everyone will come out all happy, no one will mind, they'll be like, hey, you know what, that's fine, you keep that. And I'll be like, yeah, okay, thanks bro. So hopefully that'll happen. Form an alliance with Mecklenburg. Where's Mecklenburg? Oh, no, that's Magdeburg. Oh, Mecklenburg, yeah. The frickin' hostile, are you serious? I'm not doing that. I mean, I know it's not just based on that, but I mean, if we don't like each other, what's the point? I mean, it says plus 10 and plus 17, but if we're hostile, then there's no point. There's just no point. I should have. I don't know. I don't know. But yes. Yeah, so... Mother. I keep clicking that! Okay, I'll go up to three now. Uh, yeah, that's all I can do for now, I think. Um, Realistically... Bohemia insulted us, you motherfuckers. You can't do that. Why'd you do that? Should I offer Austria an alliance? They'd be willing. Now, the only reason why I do this is because Poland are allied with them, and it'd be like a trio. I think that'd be really good, but what I'm scared of is when France starts kicking off on Austria, we're going to have to be there for them. Unless they just break their alliance with us, which is entirely possible. But at the same time, yeah, let's go ahead and send that. We've been accepted. Um, now Austria are really powerful, frickin' oh, you, you have no idea. Sometimes they can just, just blop out sometimes, but you know. Um, France... France are just a powerhouse, to be quite honest. Uh, Castile or Spain, better yet. They can be a powerhouse, but they're not concerned about what goes on here. That's what that's the best part about them. I've never seen them ever go to France and attack France or anything like that. I've always seen them expand over here, where when we discover it, the Americans will be... Well, Americas, I suppose you pronounce it. Americans, Americas, it's all the same to me. Um... I really have no idea what to do now. I could just... Oh, wait, we could just be... Let's see how many active soldiers Hungary has. That's what I'm scared of at the moment, Hungary. I know they're far away, but at the same time they'll attack Poland and, you know, it makes things dodgy. Hungary. H. Hungary. 
all together, they have 15,000? Yeah, 15,000. Austria have... Austria have... Um, oh, Austria. For, oh! Oh! <laughs> 32,000. And they have a force limit of 49 instead of 17, which is very nice. Um, I think they just look scary. Do they just look scary? They probably just look scary, Hungary. You ain't shit, bro. You ain't shit! What about Poland? Poland! Where are you? Ah, Poland. Oh, wow, they've got more as well. We could go for the tectonic border. And it's just Lithuania as well. Frickin' Lithuania! Stop making things so hard for me. If you know what I mean. Um, Lithuania. Ah, they're more scary. They're a lot more scary. A lot more scary. Um, uh, I should just go for Pomerania. Once this claims forge. Which it will be soon. Oh, fuck's sake. I keep doing that. Uh, Livonian Order. <gasps> Please say it was the Livonian Order. Oh, Livonia. Okay. I misread everything, you have no idea. Let's see. Oh. Kerfalik Guard. So we've got the Kerfalik Guards, or how. I can't pronounce that. Kerfalik Guard. I'd <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how I'm pronouncing this stuff. So yeah, uh, other than that, I really think we should aim for Pomerania. Now then, hurry up, yeah. Quickly, we're speeding things up. We're on speed five because we want this claim so then we can go to war. We don't tell that to anyone else in the process, are they? Nope. Be fine. So they know they want. So they know that we want to attack them now, kind of. If that makes sense, because they're like, "Ah, oh, the forging claims and shit, and it's not good." And we're like, "Yeah, we know." <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right then. We have the Conquest Casus Belli, or the Casus Belli, however you pronounce that, against Pomerania. We have been tasked with conquering certain provinces. So basically, we just have the... We're just told to go conquer places, really. And they will join! And this would be a glorious war. I should probably build one more unit. What have I got now? Five to one. And my economic dealings is looking okay, I suppose, a little bit. So one wouldn't hurt, right? 0 0.2 a month. Um, I could build one infantry and... Oh, I could build just one infantry and one knight, I think, if I'm not getting it wrong. And I'd still be in the plus. Because that's what you're doing when you don't want to start losing money. Definitely not. That is like... Oh, so you have no idea. You have no idea. Oh my, what is this? With obscurantism. As a typical response to different kinds of problems, obscurantism is, was a frequent behaviour in most nations, at least until the Age of Enlightenment arose in the most advanced Western nations of the European continent. Knowledge is power. National revolt was plus two to up to the year 1448. It's now 1446. I don't really want that for two years. On the other hand, I don't want to lose a shit ton of prestige. Oh. Um. It will increase. But I love prestige. You have no idea. Um. Ah. Oh, I swear to. If that makes things like ten times worse, I've just got people being angry for a while. It'll be okay. Don't worry about the ding. Yeah, anyway. Oh, now they're all the freaking sax. Where's sa Ah, they're there. Sax. Hopefully, they won't join in anyway if we get Poland and uh, Austria in on this. Right, so we've got them made. We have this. Elbarmi. Uh, let's just merge them. Merging just basically means that that unit I just created, it puts them into that army as well, in case you didn't know. We now have more cavalry! 
gave me this cavalry. And we'll merge them as well, because why not? Oh, a military leader would be very good for a war. Should I get one now or later? Hmm. What's my what's my leader like? Is he actually anything valuable? Three three two 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 one. Hmm. I could just make one out of my air because he's not that good. No, I can't do that. I'll do it out of my. That's all he's got. Oh well. So, I'm officially leading an army, which is cool as hell. Well, our leader. I don't know whether that's me or not. We're taking Vorpommern, which is this one. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? You pronounce all German names really angrily, don't you? I think that's the rule. It's like, Vorpommern, Brandenburg, Potsdam. Uh, automatic call our allies? Yes. And they will be willing to join. So we're now at war with Pommern. Pomerania, even. <laughs> and someone's already attacking them, so we're all right there. So technically, we're at war with these guys here. Anhalt here. Oh, actually. Oh. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, the other guys didn't join, but Lundberg and Anhalt did. So Anhalt are here, and Lundberg are here. Now, what I don't want to do is... Um, I don't know, I want to go straight for these guys right here. Because the closer that, the quicker I get here, even the more chance I've got of blocking them off to getting into my territory anyway. And hopefully, you know, my allies will just come to my rescue and be like, "Don't worry, we can help and clear these guys up." Because these guys are going to siege my provinces because they're going to be annoying as fuck, basically. Oh my days! This is going to be um, interesting. So hopefully, this war goes better than expected. Because right now, I don't have high hopes. Come on, Poland! <laughs> Austria! Yeah! Yeah! Glorious! I shouldn't say that. Sorry. I love watching Rabaz. I can't... Oh. Who doesn't love watching Rabaz? And if you don't watch Rabaz, go watch him now. Now. J just go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a glorious war. I love war. Sorry. Getting a bit freaky now. Um... Come on. So yeah, I, my allies are doing a fine job. Look at that. Spiffing. Spiffing job. Are these guys clearing up? I don't even know why Moldovia are on my team. Look at that. I've got Mazovia, Moldavia, and I don't even have anything to do with them. They're just there chilling, and I'm just there like, yo, thank you. These guys here, Lundberg, they're just getting besieged by their own men, apparently, because they don't like them. Their army was just like, you know what? Screw it. I don't like you anymore. Maybe not. I don't. Noble rebels are like um, the hardest to um, the hardest rebels to fight against. So I hear anyway. I've never really come across any noble rebels. I've always come across peasants and just yeah, just bad things. Look at this, Austria. Just ah, oh. we've got to remain loyal to Austria. They're gonna be a they're gonna be a really good ally. What I'm hoping is that um, as soon as we take this province, it's not going to ask, well, Austria aren't going to ask us to give it back, because that would have been a pointless war. And if I tell them that no, I don't want to, it's going to piss off a lot of people. But I mean, you know, I'm, I'm you know, it's mine. It's mine. I fabricated my, fabricated, well, that's a new word. Fabricated my claims on this shit. What you gonna do? So I think we'll just make this really quick, like, and then end this video soon. I don't quite know how long this has gone on for, but you know how it is. Well, no, you probably don't. I don't know. Depends if you record or not. If you do, then go for you. Um... Lundberg! Sorry, I keep doing that. Got, um, Mazovia and Poland sieging down here. This means... Oh. I don't want Lithuania start on Poland. Oh, we've won the siege of Vorpommern. Look at that. Boom. Boom. And we could ask for it now and we'd get it. But, um... Should I do that? Can I get anything up? No. I could ask them to become a vassal and then try and annex them, but... 
I don't think I want... Actually, I could just ask them to be a vassal, yeah. At the same, no, at the same time, they're the same power as us. I might do that in another war. I'll take Vopalman now and then ask them if they want to be a vassal in the next one. How about that? Because then I'll be two times as powerful. Well, you know, I'll be powerful anyway. Um, and then by the time that that's happened, it should be like, you know, they should be like, ah, shit, there ain't no way we're going to get back from this. All right, so we've expanded into Pomelon. We have a claim on this, so we're just going to start coring it to make it obviously 10 times better and easier for us. Yep, awesome, we've got our thingy back. Fucking, Ugh! I knew this was going to happen. Oh. That's a lot of bad impacts. Oh. Return to the... Um, but we're in the Holy Roman Empire. This is what I've never fully understood. I'm just another member of the Holy Roman Empire here. Just chilling, taking provinces from other Holy Roman Empire. And they're like, oh, you wanna... We want you to give it back to the Holy Roman Empire now. Never before have I ever said Holy Roman Empire so many times in one sentence. Um, I hope you can't hear my phone. That's really annoying. But, uh... I'm gonna have to go ahead and decline this. I'm sorry, Austria, if you don't like this, but go fuck yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hopefully, they won't be too bothered. Oh my god, I thought... Oh, I thought that was Austria then, I was like, oh my no! Uh, that'll increase yearly anyway, it'll be fine. Fought to the end, we're coring it. I think that'll be it for this episode. Uh, we've expanded into Vorpalmen, and we've taken it from the clutches of the evil Pomerania. And they are feeling threatened, which should help with vassalization. Well, no, but you know. I'm guessing anyway. <laughs> uh, Mazdovia and Poland are having trouble getting back to their home. But you know. They'll get there, it'll be fine. So yeah, uh, I think that'll be it for now. I'm definitely going to carry this on if things go all well, but if I have to keep demanding unlawful territory, then I've got a feeling that Austria are going to get a bit pissy. And if that happens, I might look at being like, hey, French, how are you today? Do you want to be French? I don't know why, because um, you know how it is, but it should just help against Austria if they ever kick off on me. Uh, I'll say, go ahead and say this now. Brandenburg Campania. Awesome. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know why I'll be doing this again, but I'll definitely be doing it again at some point. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.